Instead, he works his way back free. Granlin fires, scores! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host John Crawford, along with my brother Howie here. Hey, for episode number twenty of season four, our twentieth episode. And we are at the All Star Break weekend. All Star yes. weekend, and they've yeah. already started the festivities. It's been awesome uh, so far. Uh, and I, I may have to boycott this All Star game because I've not heard a word about uh, William Shatner or Henry Wink. <laughs> Highly, highly disappointed. Yeah, yeah. All the work that we put in, all the fan voting, and not a For word. Nothing. Not a word. Yeah, not a word. It, I'm. I don't know. It's, so, because of that, yeah, I just uh, may not watch this year's festivity. <laughs> well, they did. Uh, are having Justin Bieber there. All the more reason not to watch it. (laughs) (laughs) Unless they like, I don't know, like uh, um, four point him to the goal and use him as the target during the uh, shooting competition. Right. We'll get more into the All Star Weekend here in a minute, but I wanted to ask you how your week went this week. Um, Pretty much normal. Just a normal week. Yep. Work. Work. And, uh, just work. 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 And Lucky. <laughs> Lucky is doing fine. Yeah. Is he learning? Huh? Is your pup learning? Is he learning? Yeah, yeah. he's learning. But, man. Um, well, I think I'm going to... Uh, Enroll him in obedience school. Uh, oh. At least for a couple months, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you know, we're still going through the whole potty training thing. You know, it takes time, I guess. It just drives you crazy. And uh, Lucky, Lucky had a, uh, I guess, a successful week. He, I left, he was uh, non-graded all week. Nice. Nice. No accidents? No yeah. nothing? I, I did put my email in to the Harrier uh, uh, Jump Jets, which is the flyball team here locally. Oh, you, you did contact them. Then. I Good. did contact them. I, I, I do know that he has to be a year old to join the league, but he could... Uh, he could yeah, still he started, join. He started going to the practices and stuff now. Right. And then once he turns one, he could actually start the competition. Right. So he could be in training now. So yeah. uh, we're looking into that. Uh, although I, I really don't want to be on that team because I don't really like the team colors. So I'm, 
I'm going to temporarily go on that team until I can create my own team. What in what are the team colors? Hot pink. <laughs> Hot pink. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so he'll be wearing those, donning those colors for a bit until I can get him in. Well, as will you. As will I, until I can establish my own. Because that team is actually in Portsmouth. It's a, another city away. Um, but we don't have one here in Virginia Beach, so we will have one here in Virginia Beach. <laughs> I'm going to make sure of that. And, and <clears throat> speaking of, um, I guess, starting your own team, uh -oh. I saw... <laughs> Uh, I have not been out there for a while. I went out to the W World Team Tennis website. Ooh, what has been going on in the World Team Tennis? Um, Are they playing right now? No, oh. no, it's it's the off season right now. Oh, it's just two weeks in July. And that's oh it. yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we went right through last season and missed the whole thing. But apparently, what we missed though during those two weeks that it went by over un, well under the radar uh -huh. uh there are now only six teams in the te in the league oh gosh who fell out and i don't know i i'd have to figure uh -huh. that out um, <laughs> well, it couldn't be too hard to figure out <laughs> well looking at um, well it looks like well because we know boston was gone right is is washington still there uh washington's still there it looks like um California Dream or whatever they were. They're no, they're they're gone. Really? Texas is gone. Wow. There's the only teams that are left are New York Empire, Orange County Wave, or Orange County Breakers. Yeah. Uh, Orange County Breakers. They're new. Are they? They didn't have the Breakers before. Yeah, they were there before. Were they? Yeah. It might have been a different name, but I remember they were there, though. Hmm. I think. <laughs> See, I, I don't think they were. But but yeah. I guess because there's only six teams now, there, now there's only one division. Oh. And there's no more playoffs. It's just the top two teams play for the championship. Oh, nice. Yeah. But I saw in here, the new thing I noticed, so when you go into the menu, because remember we were talking about starting a team. Right. And we were laughing about how much it would cost. Right, right. Well, and that was what we figured it was like a, a thousand bucks or something like yeah, that. Something like that. Yeah. Two thousand. Well, it's even cheaper <laughs> to start a league. <laughs> so give a little sample of how much it would run you, but based on their sample, uh, it'd probably run you about with with. With their startup and everything, about three grand or so. Mm -hmm. But from my calculations, because we cut costs on a lot of this, the only thing we'd have to pay is three hundred and fifty dollars. Hmm. Because it's court costs. They're approximating uh, eight weeks at sixteen hundred bucks. But figure you play in elementary schools for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like you need some big glorified stadium. No. <laughs> uh, ball costs at two hundred and forty dollars. Just make the team supply their own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then just the WTT sanction fee, which would be the cost we end up paying, which is three fifty, and that's it. Well, if you're starting your own league, why do you have to have a WTTA sanction fee? You mean to be part of the WTTA? Well, I you know because you'd be kind of like an affiliate of them, I guess. I guess it'd be like a like farm. a minor league team. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a minor league. Team. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, I'd say we start them up at at like at the senior homes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're playing tennis today. <laughs> oh, 
you know, like the, you're gonna have like the, the uh, I don't know what's the name of a care facility, you know, like know. <laughs> Forest Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Forest Hills Walkers. Yeah, you have walkers. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh. All right. So is that, is, that, is that all you got there? Right. Yeah, that's it for World right. Tennis News. We got to start bringing that back. Yeah. <laughs> July is coming up. It'll come up yeah, real fast. We'll up miss quick. It. We're already moving into February. <laughs> yeah. That's a short month, so yeah. that means July is just right there. <laughs> another year of another two weeks of world team tennis <laughs> in your face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, want to make this exciting. <laughs> I know they're highlight videos the whole season. I mean, you can just show the whole season. Yeah. Um, hockey news, Howie. Do you have any hockey news? We do, we do have the All Star Weekend going on. They did reveal the the last sixty seven <coughs> players of the greatest all time hockey players. Uh, the, the only of hockey news I have is disappointing news. Is yeah. um, I've not heard anything about William Shatner and uh, <laughs> and Henry uh, Winkler. Henry Winkler. I'm just really disappointed. So did you did you see the list of the top 100 greatest players of all time? Yes, I did. All right. So I, I was going through the list um, this morning and going, well, who would I have put on that list? And then who would I take off the list? Well, I could tell you one player right now I, I would take off because I feel like he's overrated, and that's Eric Landros. He was the only player that I came across that I would swap out. Yeah. Uh, now, to, to take I, his place? Well, well overrated, I think. Did you have any players that you would take his place? Um, how about how about Rogi Vashon? Rogi Vashon, I'd put in there. Dave Taylor, I would put in there. Mm -hmm. Um, Butch Goring, I would put in there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot I'm in sound, there. I'm, so, I'm sounding quite biased though there towards the Kings, but right. <laughs> I mean, there's that, but that's just three examples that you could replace Eric Lindros with. Yeah. But there's, a, I think there are many other other ones out there. That, oh, I agree. But he was the only one on the list that well, I can come up Bob, with that would. Bob Ramage, I would put out there. Who? Rob Ramage, I'd put out there. Rob Ramage. Was Lanny McDonald on the list? No, he would be a good one too to put out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for Ramage, I mean, come on, two goals stand yeah, out. <laughs> Two goals. <laughs> a lot of people don't know what that is. No, that's we won't go. That's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Rob Ramage, I would put on there though. And Those there, familiar with uh, Stratomatic hockey would know what two goal is. Yeah. Greatest game, board hockey game of all time. But yeah, there's 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 a lot of players that I would replace Lindros with. Right. So, I don't know. But he was the only one on that list that I could see taken off the list and replacing with with somebody. I don't remember. Was Phil Esposito on there? I know Tony Esposito was on there. Well, uh, I don't recall. I remember Phil Esposito, but Phil Esposito could replace Lindros. Yeah, if he's not on there. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to go through the whole list again. Yeah. So, other than that, I think a, the lot of the list is pretty solid, pretty good. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe they should have went for the top 150. (laughs) 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 I don't know. So, other than that, uh, uh, you have um, uh, the the All-Star Games games coming up, I guess the tourney. Yeah, this uh, weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Uh, Starting today, doesn't it start today? Uh, I believe so. Today's the skill competition, and then tomorrow's the actual game. Right. So... Um, and we have the, the, uh, well, what's today? Today's, uh, today's the 28th. Okay. And then we have a month from today. Um, one month from today is the NHL trade deadline. Which will be interesting. Uh, it should be an interesting next 30 days. (laughs) Yeah, it will be. Other than that, I do not have anything else. Um, we do have no. the, the stadium series come in on the February 25th. I don't, you know, all, it's all about the All-Star weekend right now and how he's disappointed with the not, not seeing William Shatner. He could still pop up. He could just pop well, up. Well, as far as things go right now, I'm, I'm boycotting and I don't plan on watching it. But what if, what if you're not watching and all of a sudden there he is? Oh, they're all turned on. How will you know if you're not watching? Well, you can text me. <laughs> Howie. He's, He's the there. Bridges. He's <laughs> there. Captain Kirk is there. <laughs> Fonz. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to bed and weep. There you go. <laughs> Wait for the second half of the season. Although we're a little more than halfway through now. But the uh, yeah, the, the all the bikers should be in LA right now, ready to protest. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go through uh, the standings here real quick. Because uh, we don't have any games going on right now. No. So, um, this is where we stand at the All-Star break. In the Atlantic Division, in the Eastern Conference. Topping the Atlantic Division is Montreal with 65 points. Followed by Ottawa with 58. Boston with 56. Toronto with 55. The Panthers with 52, the Lightning with 50, Buffalo and the Red Wings in the basement with 49. Um, It's good to see Toronto where they're at. Um, It's good to see where Detroit's where they're at. Yeah, it is. It is. (laughs) They've lost their last four in a row. So they were. They're needing this All Star break. Detroit is one of those teams on the list of teams needed. An all-star break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, moving over to the Metropolitan, mm-hmm. you have the Caps in first place with 72 points, mm. followed by Columbus with 68, then Pittsburgh with 65, the Rangers with 63 points, mm. Philadelphia with 56, the Islanders finally out of the basement, with 51 points. Yeah, and, and two wins. By, over the boat. Right. And followed closely by Carolina and New Jersey, both with 49. Yeah. It's crazy. I thought New Jersey was going to be better than that. I thought the Islanders were going to be better than that. Yeah. I don't know. Crazy. So we move over to the West in the Central Division. <clears throat> and topping the Central Division at the All Star break is Minnesota. Howie, I, I don't know, I have to say, and I know a lot of people will debate this, but I think Minnesota is the best in the league right now. Uh, 
They're number two overall right now. They are number two overall, but they are playing. And I just hope they're not peaking too early, <laughs> you know. And we're yeah. only halfway through the season. I hope this yeah. isn't just peaking too early, or well, hopefully we see this throughout the rest of the season. But wow, uh, sixty-nine points. They lead the division, um, so they're now uh, four ahead of uh, Chicago with sixty-five. Uh, and third is uh, the Preds with fifty-six. Followed by St. Louis with 53, the Stars and Jets with 50, and the poor Avs, who are also needing this All Star break, and seven losses in a row. They don't need an All Star break. They just need this season to end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah dude, it's sad, 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 sad. Uh, did I say <clears throat> they had 28 points? Yeah, yeah 28 points. Yeah. Pretty sad. Moving to the Pacific, we have the San Jose Sharks and Edmonton Oilers tied for the top spot with 64 points, yeah. followed by the Anaheim Ducks with 63 points. Then a larger gap going to fourth place is held by Calgary, 53 points. The Kings with 52, Vancouver with 52, and still in the basement looking up. The Arizona the Coyotes yep. with yep. their eight points. But better than the ads. Yeah. <laughs> and the Coyotes have won their last three. So. Not bad. Um, so that's it. We don't. I don't have anything else, Howie. Are we going to have a short show today? Um, I guess so. I guess so. You don't have any don't more world team tennis news, do you? Or uh, no, not right now. I don't know. I mean, they may need, uh, need to have to look, look at expansion themselves here. <laughs> All right. So I think when we started first fall, there was like uh, ten teams, twelve teams, something like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe. I don't know why they're struggling, you know. Uh, we give them a lot of uh, advertising right here on the Puck Drops Here <laughs> podcast. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we will wrap it up right here, Howie. Um, thank you all for listening and watching the podcast. And uh, you can check out our previous podcasts over at www.thepuckdropshare.com. Go to our podcast page and you will find all that information there. Um, we're also on Twitter. Give us a like on Facebook. Um, yeah, we're on Instagram, Pinterest. And let's see, what else? Uh, so everybody just go out, enjoy the All-Star Weekend. We'll, uh, we have the skills competition today, and um, we should see some pretty cool stuff. Hopefully we see William Shatner and Henry Winkler pop out somewhere. I hope so. Even if they're in the stands, I'll be happy if they just show them in the stands. There they are. We might have to get those social justice warriors out there. <laughs> <laughs> Help protest. Yeah. To get uh yeah, Captain Kirk and the farms back there behind the bench. <laughs> That's right. So we will see you all next week and we will have the second uh half of the season beginning when we get back and uh, we we will be bid you on all I did do. That's it. We bid you all adieu. Farewell. <laughs>